maths learning this morning, I want to start off by showing you a picture of something. I want you to find someone to talk to and we're going to answer our questions that we always answer. What can you see? What do you notice? So spend a little bit of time having a look and talk about those things. What do you see and what do you notice? notice monkey monkey says he can see that there are two different colors in this picture he's also noticed that it goes up in a step pattern now one of monkey's favorite things to do is to count so I think he might want to count some of these squares To do that counting, we're going to count the squares in each column. So in our first column, we've got one. Our second column, we've got one, two. How many we've got in our third column? One, two, three. Then we've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. How many do you think we've got in the next one? That's right, six. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many is it going up each time? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm adding one more each time. So after eight will become nine. Then it'll become ten. Double check that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm now looking here, I can see all of these columns. They've got ten in them, plus however many red ones there are. So we've got ten, eleven. We've got ten, eleven, twelve. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Are we still going up by one each time? I think we are. So that will be 14, 15, 16, 17, let's double check 17, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, it is isn't it going up by 1, 18, 19, 20. So have you worked out what numbers we're going to be looking at today? We're going to be looking at the place value of the numbers from 11 up to 20. So let's explore that a little bit more. So what do we mean when we talk about place value? I wonder if you can remember back to our maths meetings. Do you remember that we had the red chart on the wall and in that red chart we would choose a number and then we would count straws. We were looking at place value then. Place value is about talking about how a number is made up. So if I had lots of cubes, I've got my tower of cubes, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cubes in this tower. That means I've got, do you remember, one lot of ten. And if I have one lot of one, can you work out what my number would be? So I've got ten. If I put ten in my head, I add one more on eleven. So this is the way we would show the number 11. And that's what we mean when we call it its place value. How many lots of tens and how many lots of ones are in a number? So we just made the number 11. If I add 
one more on. What number do you think I'm going to make next? Shall we try? So I've got one more. So let's talk about its place value. How many lots of 10 have I got? I've got one lot of 10, haven't I? Because I've got one tower of 10. And then I've got one, two, lots of one. So it's not 11 anymore. Let's take 11 away. Let's work out what number we've got. We've got 10, 11, that's right, 12. This is how we make the number 12. We've got one lot of 10, which is shown by our blue tower, and two ones, which are our two white cubes. Two white cubes here. What do you think I need to do to make the number 13? Here's the number 13. How many lots of 10 do I need? Right, one lot of 10. How many ones will I need? Mm. I've only got two. But I need, that's right, I need three. So let's add one more on to it. Let's add one more on. Let's double check, because it's always important to double check, isn't it? Got one lot of 10. 10 in our head. 11. 12, 13. Monkey's got a game for us to play now. So he's got a pot of numbers and they go from 11 to 20. And then we've got the cubes and we're going to take a number, say how many tens and how many ones there are and then make it with the cubes. So are we ready, Monkey, to have a rummage for our first number? Ooh. What is our first number? One lot of ten and seven ones. So we've got the number 17. So one lot of ten. Let's get my blue tower. Let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One lot of ten. So that's my one lot of ten here. How many ones do I need? Seven. So I'm going to count my white cubes. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's push them all together now. Now I've got, now I've got my seven. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. So 17 is made up of one lot of 10 and seven ones. So I've made 17. Should we do another one, monkey? Yeah. Yeah, monkey's ready. Okay. Pop 17 out the way. Let's have another rummage. good at this one we've done this one before 12 how many lots of 10 do I need that's right I need that one lot of 10 so there's my tower of 10 so my one lot of 10 and then how many ones do I need yeah there were two in the ones column aren't there so I've got my one two for the ones column let's put the towers together We made the number 12. One lot of 10, two ones. You can see that if I put it above it, you can see my one lot of 10. And next to it, my two ones for the number 12. One more go. Let's have a good rummage. Ooh, what have I got? Ooh. How many lots of 10? One lot of ten. How many ones? Five ones. So one lot of ten. I need my blue tower of ten. And then I need five ones. One, two, three, four, 
five. Pop those in the tower so I can put them next to each other. One, two, three, four, five. And I've got the number 15. One must have ten. I've got ten in my head. Count on. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's a great game. Thanks, Monkey. You can also play Monkey's game using the tens frames. So for each number, I need two tens frames. My tens frames are very small because I printed off the small ones and cut them out. So I'm going to take a number like I did before. Okay, turn it over. And we're going to make this number. So we've got the number 16. How many lots of 10? One lot of 10. So show my one lot of 10 on this side. How many squares have I got to put a dot in? That's right, 10 of them to show, make it a full up 10s frame. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've got ten dots in my first tens frame to show my one lot of ten. It's a full up tens frame. Then how many dots do I need in my second tens frame? That's right, six. So let's colour in six dots. One, two, three, four, five, six. 16 is made up of 1 lot of 10 and 6 ones. Let's do one more using the 10s frame. Let's put those to one side. Two new empty ones. Let's have another rummage. Let's get a new number. I've got the number 19. One lot of ten. So I've got to fill up the first one full to make sure it's got ten in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've only got ten at the moment. How many do I need all together? I need nineteen, don't I? So how many ones do I now need? Nine ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do I put a dot in that one? No, because otherwise that would give me ten in this one, and ten out of ten is twenty. I needed nineteen. One lot of ten, so the ten frame is full up. And then this one. Only needed nine dots, so I've coloured in nine. Ten, add nine, is nineteen. Or you might want to play monkey's game using Numicon. So I'm going to take a number. I've got the number eighteen, and I'm going to use the Numicon plates. So one lot of ten means I need a template. Plates I need for this one. That's right, it's eight. I need the eight plate. So I have one lot of ten, my one lot of ten, and eight ones. Ten add eight equals eighteen. So that's how we've made up number eighteen. Let's do one more. Oh, this is interesting. I haven't got any ones because there's a zero there. So how many lots of ten have I got this time? Is it one lot of ten? No, it's not, is it? That's not the number one. I've got two lots of ten. So I need to get myself two lots of ten. And under the zero, I've got zero ones here. So I've got ten, twenty. Two lots of ten is twenty with zero ones. Monkey and I hope you
you enjoyed the lesson today, looking at place value and exploring how the numbers from 11 to 20 are made up, looking at how many tens they have and how many ones they have. Have fun exploring on your own now.